Hello everyone, this is the ISO GOAT, aka Rob. Um, sorry, not in the same location today, but I just wanna talk a little bit about uh, liquidity when it comes to XRP and ODL. Um, just as an FYI, Ripple, the company, actually stopped programmatic sales to exchanges back in 2019, and they're only using it solely for ODL partners. So what does that mean? Long story short, supposedly uh, Jed McCaleb, his bags were going to exchanges to fund them in the meantime. Obviously Jed recently ran out of XRP, so they no longer have a source. Like I said, this is just speculation. I mean, it's possible that's incorrect, but uh, eventually at some point, the XRP on these exchanges is gonna run out, all right? You know, there's a lot of people that think they can wait till the last minute. Hey, I'm gonna hop in now. Hey, I'm gonna wait for regulations. Hey, I'm gonna wait for uh, the end of the lawsuit and you will be paying a premium. And chances are you probably will be priced out at some point, even if it's 20 bucks. Let's say you had a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks buying XRP now is like, what, 35 cents? You can get a decent amount. But let's say the lawsuit does settle and it becomes $20. This is just as an example. I think it'll be way higher than that, just my opinion. This is just a very conservative, very, very, very conservative number. That $100 only gets you five. Do the math. We can all do math now. So what I do recommend is looking into that highly, um, especially the ISO coins going live in November. Um, I do think something big is potentially around the corner, whether it's a black swan event or something to distract everyone. Um, actually, it's funny. Uh, I think it was Kurt Moore that uh, mentioned on a live yesterday with T's Crypto Spot that uh, the, the um, what is it? Not the World Series, the um, World Cup, I'm sorry, is actually uh, on the same day as Zero Zone going live. So I do think that probably will be used as a distraction. Um, hey, look this way while this is happening over here. Um, I definitely, you know, like I said, I'm just going to recommend you look into it. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't provide financial advice whatsoever. Um, don't make any investing decisions based off anything that I say. Um, but I do know that there will come a day when it won't be available. Um, I know that there are some people that talked about, you know, it potentially not being relisted. Some people are probably waiting for that. I know Coinbase is a big one that delisted. And, you know, pretty much everybody in the United States that, that's in crypto uses Coinbase. Um, so if it's no longer listed there and they're making it harder to get, there's probably a reason for that. Um, they probably don't want you <laughs> to make a lot of money off of it. Um, I'm willing to take that jump and that leap of faith in regards to that. Um, there's other avenues you can use to purchase. You just have to do a little research, take two minutes to do that. Um, I'm not here to spoon feed anybody. So, you know, if, you know, it's not for you, then hey, it's not for you. All right, well. You know, that, that's that's how some people feel. And then they live with regret afterwards, whether it's, I don't know, the dot-com boom, um, the internet, people that didn't invest in that, you know, and I've, I'm from the 80s, so, you know, I've seen all of that. And I, I feel like I wanna get in before everybody else does because that's when the true money is made and that's when the true wealth is established. Um, but some people, you know, you like to wait for the masses, that's fine too. Just know that it's probably not gonna be as much when it comes to gains. Um, Sometimes you gotta take a risk in life, you know? Those who research, you know, they'll be rewarded. You know, it, it takes time. It's a process, it's a stepping stone. And, you know, this whole process of them laying the tracks for the new financial system is, like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna be a process. But, you know, once that thing does light up, <laughs> I, I really don't feel like people are gonna have the same opportunities that they have today. So, like I said, I'm not a, a financial advisor. Just my regular Joe Schmo advice. Uh, I'm just a regular guy documenting my journey. Well, I probably will have another video later on today, maybe. Uh, if not, I'll do one tomorrow. Um, that's it. Checking out. Shout out to the HDAO fam. Shout out to the XRP family, XRP community. Um, Y'all are really gonna change a lot of lives. Just wanna say that, so thank you.